Hello, I'm joined today by resident artificial intelligence and machine learning guru, Mike Leone. Mike, thank you for joining us. You know, one question that I really want to understand is AI, machine learning, these emergent workloads, they tend to be the story everywhere. It seems like everyone has an AI-based startup these days. What sorts of things, from a, from a data storage aspect, because data is so important, what are some of the storage-related trends that storage administrators need to be thinking about when supporting AI-based workloads? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, a lot of times it's, it, you're so focused on the data and that, f that foundational piece of the infrastructure is the storage, right? So first and foremost, we're seeing a big focus on the object storage side, right? You, you need to provide some context around data, especially once you start factoring in that unstructured data. You need to apply uh, metadata to it to be able to classify, to be able to search. Um, so that's really that first aspect of it. Then, then it comes into uh, capacity requirements and scalability requirements. So um, when we're training, obviously you need these massive data sets to be able to accurately train a model. Uh, then you shift to the uh, deployment of that, right? A-B testing into production, and, and that's where those models start generating their own data and generating a lot of data. So you're going to need to be able to, to provide just not, not even just basic capacity, but the ability to scale easily and, and efficiently uh, to address some of those scalability demands. Okay, so you know you hit on almost everything. We need to have massive scalability. You also have to figure out how to handle the performance. Mm -hmm. But I think context was really one of the uh, one of the really fascinating things that you said because it's about infrastructure that can understand our data. And so I think those are some of the major trends. Anything else, or are those the top three? Yeah, I mean, I, there's a couple other things around performance, and I'd say cost, right? So on the performance side, really. Um, the last thing you want to do is make a, a massive investment into some of these bigger processing uh, type infrastructures that have GPUs in them, right? And, and you don't want those GPUs to, to have wasted cycles, uh, have wait time. And ensuring that you have a powerful enough or highly performant storage infrastructure uh, to keep up with the speed of those GPUs is really essential. So you don't want to waste cycles. You don't want to have any inefficiencies. And that's not even just on the storage. That's across the whole stack. And that kind of goes into the cost angle of it, right? The number one challenge organizations face right now is, is the cost of infrastructure required to support AI and ML. And, and it really starts with that storage infrastructure, making sure you have that solid foundational piece that you know you don't have to worry about anymore. Um, so start with storage and then, and then move from there. I think that's great advice. Thank you, Mike. This is incredibly insightful. Thank you very much. Thanks.